entire industry scenario when it comes to the cement sector, but very big turning point has been the shake-up that is created by Adani's entry into this particular sector. So lots of action at play and also infrastructure requires cement. Moving on then, escorts, that stock is up at fresh 52-week high. Right now, 9% up in trade today. Sonia Shinoi is right here with the key management takeaways from the conversation we had with them earlier today and what is it that Street is really betting on, Sonia? So, you know, uh, a couple of days ago, Escorts announced that they will be amalgamating uh, two of their JV companies in order to uh, come out with a simplified organizational structure. Now, today they told us that this amalgamated JV, which is currently loss-making, will become profitable by FY24. So, firm guidelines or firm timeline given on when the amalgamated JV will become profitable. Uh, they will also come out with a midterm business plan by November of this year. But the big trigger for the company now is that they will undertake localization of engine production in India. And that will happen over a period of two years. And as that happens, the efficiency of the company will improve. They will bring down their costs significantly. The costs will go down by 25 to 30 percent. And that's a big amount over the next two years, which will help them eventually in terms of better margin performance and better profitability. That is something that the street is reacting to. Not just that, you know, the company is very confident that September to October will be a bumper month for the tractor industry. Uh, they also speak about how the tractor industry will see a high single-digit growth and uh, also about how the sentiment has definitely improved. And post the amalgamation of the JV, now that Kubota has over 53% stake, the export volumes for Escorts Kubota will also go up. Hence, the stock is sitting at a fresh 52-week high as we speak, up about 9 odd percent. All right, Sonia, thanks a lot for taking us through all of those details. But also stay on because one of the top gainers on the Nifty today is MNM. This after it sold 30% stake in its renewable energy arm. In fact, brokerage house CLSA has now also given a bullish call on the stock. So tell us more about this as well. MNM 20 had come out with a plan, firm plan, where they are looking to sell uh, stakes in their non-core business, right? So they're exiting a lot of their legacy businesses. Uh, they're monetizing their stakes there. And they did that today as well. They uh, sold 30% stake in the renewable energy arm for 23, uh, 17 crores. Now, uh, what they plan to do here is they will set up an invite to list the renewable energy assets and they will deploy the funds that they've gained through the stake sale in, all, in the same business, in Invit as well as in the renewable energy business. They're looking to build a strong renewable energy business. They currently have a capacity of 1.4 gigawatts. Now, all of this is done in order to unlock value for shareholders, something that they had suggested that they would do in uh, 2020, and now the uh, plan is in action. Not just that the core business is doing exceptionally well, as we know, CLSA put out a note where they have a very aggressive target price of 1567. They maintain a buy. The title of the note is MM is going through a golden period right now. Um, also, the fall in raw material costs will, uh, you know, uh, make sure that the margins improve and the full impact of that will be felt Q3 onwards. They have very strong bookings of over 240,000 units for their new SUVs and they have multiple new SUVs planned over the next 12 months, whether it's the five-door Thar, the new XUV300 and the Bolero Refresh. But I think what the street is latching on to is the fact that M&M is cleaning up its old legacy businesses and focusing purely on the core business.